Welcome back upon for the next part of Atrian Odyssey 3. In the last part, we had some trouble with the ocean's quest, seeing how that freaking ghost ship literally uh, killed us left and right. And the only way to win against that thing is to occasionally activate the Q mode with all the ridiculousness and madness in order to counter the madness that he throws in our way. Don't ask me how it works, I have no idea, but every time I use the Q mode at least once during the fight, it ends up good. And if I try to avoid it, because I think, okay, I need the buffs there and here, I usually end up dying at the end. So, uh, yeah, I, I have no idea how the ghost ship fight works, but I guess we won at the end of it all, right? We won at the end of it all, so we're not going to worry about that thing at all at this point onward. I mean, <laughs> I should have probably fought against that guy a little bit later, seeing how the ninja was level 33. But I'm not entirely sure three levels would have fixed the issue. Just saying, that guy is ridiculous. That guy was just ridiculous. Nevertheless, as I already said in the last part, in today's part, we are going to explore a little bit more of the sea itself, seeing how uh, we kind of already reached the third stratum. And that usually means I might be able to find something new around here, right? So yeah. After all, we have in fact acquired the gun, or rather our cannon as well, that we haven't really tried out yet. And they gave us a, a southern banner in order to fight against the pirates themselves. I'm not entirely sure how am I supposed to equip the banner with the gun. Seeing how I need the movement speed and all. But that's alright, right? I mean... I'm certainly going to equip the gun, or rather the cannon, that's for sure. I need I need the cannon. Now the question is, where exactly are we going to go from here? There are multiple things that I could technically shoot down. There's a pirate right over here, blocking something towards the right of him. Maybe a treasure, who knows. I could shoot this guy down, but I already was able to get around him, so I'm not entirely sure if there's anything else hidden behind him. Uh, up there, that was a black ship. I'm not entirely sure if I can shoot him down with my red thing. Girls, red pirates. I'm not entirely sure if it works. We can certainly try it out. No idea which color this one was. And I guess we can certainly try to go further to the south. I think that one was also red, if I remember right. Nevertheless, let's just set sail and check them out. Only cost like 200 N? That's not a lot, right? We can certainly handle that. Okay, first and foremost, the lift guy. Okay, he's seeing me. That's good. How do I shoot? Tap, cannon. Okay. And that already got rid of him. Perfect. The pirate ship has been sunk. Now, is there anything else that I can see around here? I can already see there's normal land ahead. Doesn't really seem like I can do anything with it. There are more rocks in the way, but that's alright. Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden inside of it either. Okay, so I can go further to the south from here. Was there anything towards the right of it? I don't think so. Yeah, it's just the open sea. Okay, let's go further to the south for now. That's the island. We don't need to go towards the island. There's nothing in the blue sea either. I can check out this mountain really quickly. That has literally nothing. How about the trees? Anything in the surrounding trees? Yes. Traveling south of the high sea, you come across a small doglet of islands. Though too small to be in, uh, to, to be habitable, it is dense with trees, making it a nice resting spot. We're looking upon the greenery from your ship. You detect a sharp whiff of seed. Are we going to get seed first fruits? Casting about for the source of the smell, you spot a round green fruit growing of the tree. It wasn't obvious at first, but these are lime trees. Those fruits is useful, uh, useful for sea voyage. 
you decided to take a few back with you to Armor Road. Oh, yes! Thank you very much! Okay. Uh, was that... I guess that was pretty much both of the trees. Lime. Fruit. Now the question is, is that going to upgrade our dishes? Am I able to travel even further now? Or... Ooh. There are a bunch of golden fish around. But you know what I mean, right? Is that just going to upgrade our dishes so that we can travel a little bit further? Or is it just uh, another trinket in order to uh, get some end for free? I mean, they love to do that at times, right? They really love to do that at times. Okay, there's something else right ahead of us. But before that... One, two... There you go. And... Okay, that seems like a dead end. But, but that's also alright. I mean, we already have two turns... Uh, only two turns left. Okay, what do we have? We're sailing to discover a new sea route. You discover an island with breadfruit trees. You can see a fruit growing underneath the palm-shaped leaves of the tree. Bear fruit is a tropical fruit that can be eaten, steamed, roasted, or dried. You can easily go about and obtain some of the fruits, or you can just leave it be and move on. Why the heck would I just leave them be? <laughs> I mean, they're already here, ready for the taking. You disembark and climb a modern, moderately sized tree. You manage to reach the fruit level and begin cutting them free from the branches. Satisfied with your effort, you take them back to the ship and set sail once again. Okay, we already got limes and now we got another fruit. Interesting. Again, is that going to be an upgrade for our food sources or is it just another one of those uh, little treasures that we are able to find? Could be either of them, alright? Could be either of them. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's certainly a better food item. It's a little bit cheaper than the cheap cheese and raisins. Too bad that it only has 16 turns though. I mean, I could certainly go for it here and there when I go for a, a quicker trip. But still, it's still good to have, right? It's certainly good to have. Okay, so the left side is already a success. Can I go further to the left? Maybe. But first and foremost, I'm probably going to check out the north lift area first. Yeah, that's a black ship. I, I cannot sink a black ship, right? Very unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Oh well. Can I shoot him down? I can certainly approach a bit more. Oh yes, yes. It's getting straight in my way. That's perfect. The private ship has sunk. Now the question is, what am I able to find around here? There's an island towards the right of us. And the sea current heading towards the right part of this. Um, there's a little bit more deep water to the left of us. That goes down to the right, probably further to the right. Is it going to lead me to a whirlpool? There's a decent chance that it might try that. I kind of want to check out the islands, but I already checked them out from the other side. There might be something uh, on this palm tree, though. I'm gonna check that out really quickly. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing on the palm tree. Never mind. Okay, in that case, I mean, I can't really go further to the south. At the very least, I can check out where this uh, current is trying to take us. That's another tile to the right from here. Okay. It didn't really lead straight to a whirlpool, so that's good enough in my book. There's some kind of island ahead of us. And I guess we see the, the faces again. Large stones in the shape of a human face. Right, right. 
Wait, is that actually the way how to get around all those whirlpools? Seems like it. Mm, if I go up here... Then I'm probably going to head straight into the whirlpool as well. Yeah. There isn't really much room for us to bounce around either. Another tree. We'll put what's left of it. There is this island though. We can certainly use uh, this little island over here in order to ensure that we don't uh, bounce into the northern whirlpool. But other than that... Doesn't really seem like there's anything else around here. Okay. Then I bounce into this tree. That actually has something. Searching for a new land to report to Armor Road, you spot an island with a tall plant. You smell a unique sweet aroma and decided to disembark and investigate the land. You identify the thick stalk plant as Armor Road Cane, a source of sugar. If you wish, you may harvest the Armor Road Cane and unload it onto the ship. Sure. I mean, I'm already running out of turns and probably not able to reach that point, but still. You began using a hatchet to cut down the sugarcane plants in the vicinity. After loading a good amount of it into the hold, you decided to return to your voyage. Okay, multiple fruits, sugarcane, good to see, good to see. They give us quite a lot of food items around here, right? So many different types of food items. It's just great. Okay, that goes all the way around. There might be something hidden over there. But I can't quite check that. Yeah, I shouldn't I shouldn't have went the other way. If I didn't do that, I would have certainly been able to reach that thing. Okay, I have to return one more time, but I'm sure I'm able to reach it at least. Ah, I'm glad you're back. Your voyage seemed to be going well. What? You found an island with boulders that look like a human head? You know, I believe I've read about that place. It's that... A tribe with superior technology lived there. Apparently, they used it to create stone giants that they use as war machines. From what I heard, the city has sunk during the Calamity had a very similar ancient method. It seems worthy of an investigation. It will be great if you could establish a route there. If we can send in marines to check it out, we could get some answers from it. I wish you the best of luck. Really? War machines, you say? Well then, it just gives us another reason to check that place out right away, right? Ah, why do the pirates always have to respawn? Why do they always have to respawn? So, okay. We can't quite check out the right side, but at the very least, we have enough turns to reach the face. How then? Is there anything specific? Dodging the whirling, uh, swirling currents in between the islands, you reach the island of the human face, sh uh, face stones. Refusing to be cowered by the airy stones, yeah, cowered by the hairy stone stairs, you disembark and find a pit below the rocks. Looking inside, the pit is deeper than you would have thought, and filled with the rest of the statue. Each stone face has a similar pit beneath it. To your surprise, they are all connected by the tunnel. It seems these mysterious ruins produce of an older architecture run throughout the island. You will need special equipment to explore further. You return to the ship and report back to home. Special equipment? Okay. Um, welcome back everyone! So you have reached the land of a giant. It would seem those giants were used in the past war, after all. The gigantic underground area you, you found seems to have been used as a sort of maintenance yard for them. Can you imagine what ancient battles were like? With those things running wild on the field? Well, I'll be putting in a request to the Senators to get some veterans to escort the historians there. If we can solve the riddles of that ancient technology, the city may reach new heights. And maybe actually have a chance to fight against the deep ones, huh? 
I mean, at this point, they don't, but maybe with that extra technology, but then again, I don't think it's gonna be enough. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Try taking this on your future voyage. Ivan Naval Frame. A ram, I mean. And 2k of N. Okay, and what was that now? Ivan Naval Ram Seaweed Sailing. Oh! An armament attached to the hull that cuts through seaweed. Oh, that's nice. That's certainly helpful. So that means I'm able to reach this area now, right? I can cut through the seaweed, so all the seaweeds around here are not are no longer enough to stop us. But first and foremost, before anything, I have to reach that face again. After all, we have to visit every spot at least twice, right? Totally. Give me a second. So. Huh? Wait, wait, what do you mean there's nothing here? What do you mean there's nothing here? I usually have to go there twice, right? Was I not supposed to do that? Did you already give me all the rewards that I could possibly get? I'm not even getting a, a tomb from it? Okay, well, never mind then. Uh, I think I still need a cannon though. There's still that one spot right over here that I have to check out. So how about I'm going to equip my limes really quickly, because it isn't really that far away. And before we try out the seaweed cutter, I'm going to shoot down the final pirate really quickly. Oh! Wait a second, seems like there's something over here as well. Sailing with the southern wind at your back, you reach a small island. The island is small enough for a child to walk around in a day, and would be easy to investigate. If you like, you may land here and explore. Sure. As you disembark, the vivid tropical flowers put you in, in mind of some island paradise. You can investigate this area near the flowers or go further into the islands. Investigate the area? Sure. Having decided to investigate the area, you started strolling about. As you enjoy the sweet smell of the flowers, you feel in itchy sensation at your feet. The itchy soon turn into an unbearable stinging pain. You hastily remove your boots. Poisonous ants known as the bull ants are swarming all over your feet. The intense pain causes you to flee, but not before gathering some of those ants to take back. Ah great, more ants, huh? Sure, of course. There's no paradise without ants around. <laughs> Oh god, okay. Uh, I still have enough steps in order to reach that place, right? Oh yes, okay. Go back up, please. There we go. Doesn't really seem like they're getting aggressive, which is perfect. Now, the pirate ship is sunk. After a fierce exchange of cannon fire, which was literally one-sided, the pirate ship is clearly unable to put up any resistance. You near the half destroyed yeah, you near the half destroyed ship and hear the pirate captain begging for his life. You tell him that you will spare him if he gives up his pirate way. Overcome, he offers you a crate. The crate is covered with eastern looking characters and is filled with rock silver, a valuable medal. The money was properly looted from a merchant ship from the east. After watching the pirate limp away, you return to your voyage. Rock silver. Interesting. Probably have to return that item though, right? Yeah, probably. Anything else around that I need to know about? Doesn't really seem like it. Okay, okay, so the pirate ship was only around in order for us to get the rock silver from the looks of it. Which means now is a good chance for us to try out the iron navel and I probably have to swap back to my sour cow just in case after all we need the extra movement speed we always need the extra movement speed there's nothing worse than having to have to return because I ran out of turns right certainly now then let's see uh, the setting straight into the whirlpool that is going straight into the whirlpool as well. At least I can get some fishies around here. 
anything on the mountain? Yes. Yes, there's at least something on the mountain. I was about to say. Is that all just, just a dead end with nothing in it? As you travel the high sea, you wrinkle your nose in disgust as a foul odor wraps your way. Looking ahead, you see a smiling old man on the beach, laying fishes onto a sheet of straws. The stench must be from the fishes, which are no doubtly rotten. You politely inform the old man, but he only shakes his head and laughs. He answers that these are Xianju, a type of dried fish which are quite tasty when cooked. Are you sure about that? Beaming intensely, he grabs one of the fishes, toasts it on a nearby spit, and holds it out to you. You reach out and take it with trepidation, though you have not yet decided whether to eat it. <sighs> personally, personally, I hate fishes. I, I would have probably not eat it at all. But hey, it's not like my character has to eat it alone, right? Maybe I can just pass it over to somebody else. Maybe one of my guys actually likes fish, but then again, it is rotten. Ah, uh, sure. I mean, maybe it's a good food item, huh? It could be a good food item. You, you take the dried fish and nervously raise it to your lips. You are then shocked to discover how savory the foul-smelling Jiang Shu indeed is. Satisfied with your reaction, the smiling old man says he will share some with you. In return, he asks that you spread the Jiang Shu glory throughout the region. You shake the man's hand, vowing to do so, and leave the island with a grate full of Jiang Shu. Is that actually a fishing item? Oh wait, I'm not fishing item, what am I saying? But is that actually a food item? Really? <laughs> really? They're going to eat that? They're going to eat more of that stuff? Okay, I have to say. I have to say, it's cheaper than sauerkraut. It is freaking cheaper than sauerkraut and has the same movement. But sauerkraut! I don't want to give up sauerkraut for a silver chew fish that, that can be eaten but smell- oh. <laughs> I guess it is quite tasty, at least they enjoy it, but I don't like the idea of giving it up. I really don't like the idea, but I have to save some of them at least. I don't want to waste that much in when I'm just casually strolling around the sea and all. Actually speaking, can I get rid of this? Do I need this? I want to check out the bottom left corner. There might not even be any seaweed along the way. Is there really nothing? Or am I lacking turns? Seems like I'm still lacking enough turns to actually explore anything around here. The only way to get around this area is by going towards the left side. And there's no way for me to cut it short either. Since the whirlpools and the currents are just getting in my way. Hmm. And all the land masses over there are just. Uh, they are not going to allow me to just quickly go through here either. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I wanted to see what happens in the corner, but I guess it's not quite a case, huh? It's not quite a case. Okay. So, that leaves us with the uh, top left corner, top right corner, there's a lot of seaweed in the top right corner. I don't think we're going to do anything in the top left corner at all, seeing for this black ship right over here. There's a lot of currents in our way. I might be able to reach at least a little higher. But I also was able to see that there's a ship over there as well. So just in case, I'm going to re equip my cannon. I'm going to check it out. But I don't really have high hopes for this. At all. Might be able to reach something after all. Maybe. But then again, I only have like two turns left. And that's another one of those black ships. Great. Just, just great. Of course, there's a... Uh, 
wall ahead of us as well. So that's not really that helpful. At the very least, it seems like there's an opening right here. If I could have a couple more turns, I might actually be able to reach the spot. Maybe. Two tiles. It probably circles in like this. Yeah. Then we have another island right over here. Why is there no barrier? There should have been a, a water barrier like this, right? Weird. Uh, I mean, I certainly don't have any more turns left, that's for sure. I can't really check it out, but if there's no... Can I go beyond that? Maybe. Maybe from a different side. Okay, once again, I need... I need my seaweed cutter. And then I can just break through here, right? Yeah, I can just break through here. There is a pirate over there, but maybe he's not getting in our way. Maybe. No idea. <laughs> he is standing guard, though, so I'm a bit worried about that, at least. But... He's also unable to get through the seaweed himself, right? We have that at least. Okay, he's not paying any attention to me, that's good. Okay, never mind, he saw me. <laughs> but again, I don't think you can actually do anything about the seaweed around us, right? Pretty sure you can't do anything. Wait a second, can I go from the right side? I might be able to get through there through the right side. Maybe I don't have to go that long way past the currents. Maybe. <laughs> but first and foremost, is that actually a thing? It is actually a thing. Oh, <laughs> you can see a pillar of light that pierces the sky, originating from the water in front of you. There's, a, there's nothing preventing you from navigating towards it if you wish to investigate it. Well, except, of course, of this pirate ship. Who's certainly not able to reach me yet, right? Well, it seems like you already lost interest. Probably because uh, I reached the next sea? Maybe? Nevertheless, hello there! Geometric pole? Ocean pole number one has been activated? The pole? Or rather the ocean has a geometric pole system? This is called an ocean pole. When you set sail next time, you may start your voyage from here. Use this, uh, using this allows you to expand the scoop of your exploration, so keep it in mind. That is a possibility? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, uh, let me remove that really quickly. I know, need this. Circuit in like that. Can I also save with this? No, I can't save. Okay, never mind. Yeah, but then again, I, I guess we're not supposed to save on the, on the ocean itself. So, what else can I do around here? We have more of those... Uh, leaf trees around here from the looks of it. Doesn't really seem like there's anything specific around here. That is just leading straight to our dead. That's uh, not good. And I should probably mark down all of the seaweed around us. One tile ahead. Two tiles ahead. Going to the right. There's a giant tree! Is it another Yggdrasil tree? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Um, sailing on a warm sea breeze, you discover a large island covered with dense foliage. You then remember the notorious Historia, written by the naturalist Pliny. The island before you bears some resemblance to the chaotic island shown in, on the volume. If that island in front of you is one and the same, then you have made an incredible discovery. If you don't yet need to resupply, you can proceed to investigate this island. Can I? I have one tile. 
I don't know if I can... I'm gonna overshoot it, that's for sure. I'm always moving two tiles, right? Well, doesn't really seem to be the case, though. I'm overshooting it again. Great, just, just great. Unless, wait, if I take this, then I can go downwards. And then I can bounce straight into the tree area itself, if I had one more turn at least. If I had one more turn, I could certainly do it like this. Okay. And that's even more currents leading towards the surge. Okay, I need to get my provisions again, but it seems like I can certainly reach the tree without issues then. Um, welcome back everyone! Word is that you've discovered the dark forest. Have you read the encyclopedia that the naturalist Pliny has left behind? This is a book of great knowledge from the from the Dark Age about geography, astronomy, and biology too. But as science advanced, the validity of these encyclopedias was thrown into question, which includes their description of the Dark Forest, yet you claim you have seen it with your own eyes. If that forest is just as Pliny wrote, then no other place holds as many mysteries. I think it would be worth further investigation in the names of the ocean city, so good luck! Oh, and you have discovered an ocean pole! Those remnants of the ancient days are probably similar to the submagnetic pole in the forest. It has the power to teleport the ship and its crew back to their home and back again. If you wish to explore the sea, Give a nod to the ancient people of Armor Road and make use of it. Great! So, I should be able to reach it without issues now, right? What the hell? Why does it look like this? I don't think I moved my map. Nevertheless, second foothold, let's go! There we go. That looks much better. Okay, so I have to go upwards. Up again, into the current, bouncing back, and then that should lead us straight to the forest itself. Okay, that's good. That's already the second location that we were able to find in this part, right? Kinda. <laughs> you reached the island with an eerie dense forest and disembarked to investigate the area. The squawks and buzzing of the birds and insects emanating from the walls of the green worries you. You set foot inside and find it to be a netherworld of forest, a void of any light. You press on, torch in hand, and observe the unique wildlife native to this island, engrossed in the strange flora and fauna as fierce as anything in the labyrinth. You see an odd fruit. To mark your arrival, you take a poison hued fruit and stuff it in your bag. Taking care not to get lost, you carefully and cheerfully return to your ship. Demon Mellow. I take that back? I really take that back? <laughs> well done, Vesperia. You've established a route all the way to the Dark Forest. A discovery like that will really help upon opening more trade routes and make medical advancements. You deserve a good reward this time, so I've ordered some improvement for your ship. They'll reinforce your hull, letting you equip steel plates to navigate the dangerous reefs. The carpenters won't make it here from Atayaya until their work over there is done though. I know you must be excited, but please bear with us. Oh, okay. So I'm waiting for another equipment piece from the looks of it. Demon Melon. That was just 550N. I risked my life for 50N. <laughs> Great. Okay, now, um, I probably have to check that area again, right? Do I have to check this area again? I mean, the last one didn't really do that, but just in case, just in case, I'm going to check it out one more time. If it doesn't give me anything, then that's good enough. But if, do if it does have anything, it would be a waste to just ignore it. Okay, so it there's nothing there. Great. Down, another down, and the wall continues. Okay, so that is all leading downwards. 
all of it. Just great. Okay, anything around here? Yes, yes, there's something. In good spirit, as you travel the sea, you spot smoke coming from an island ahead. After you dog and disembark, you find a soldier cooking some dried virtuals. The sizzling sound of dried fish fat on fire makes your mouth water. Noticing you staring hungrily at the scene, the soldier calls out to you. Oh, hello there! You explorers, everyone's been talking about it, armor world, eh? I'm here to survey this place. Thanks to your good work, we've been plenty of busy. Me, it's the only pleasure I get on this island. This here is uh, Bara Barcalo, dried crude. It's really great of all the preserved foods to take on a voyage. I like this the best. I usually put some garum on it when I have some, but I don't have any here. It's fine without it though. Oh, look, it's ready. The soldier takes the fish and sinks its teeth into it, quickly devouring it. Once the soldier has finished his meal and resumed, sur uh, resumed surveying, you return to your own duty. Paraku Guda. Huh? Okay, random soldier. Fish eats food, I guess. Should I, should I write Garuda? Kabakuta? Oh god, I, I already forgot the name. Soldier plus fish? Question mark? How about this? Yeah. I mean, he's already gone. It doesn't really seem like I can check up on him again. But still, maybe, just maybe, I have another chance to encounter him later. Doesn't really appear to be the case, but if perchance he should appear again. Wait. Okay, there's another town? Is it a t Yeah, this is a town. The vigorous smell of seawater dancing in the air, you spot a city straight ahead. Around the exotic city, lined with white brick buildings, is a strong current preventing all passage. It will be harder than it looks to reach the city. You notice coordinates and go on your way. Okay. So there's another city very close to the geometric pole from the looks of it. And the current is leading towards the left side from it. Okay. Then we have a bunch of trees. Two in total. Circled in like this. Okay. You discover the tall evergreen on the island of egg-shaped fruits. This fruit is known as cacao and it is famous for its seeds, the main ingredients for chocolate. If you want a cacao, you can harvest it, or you can just ignore it and continue your voyage. I mean, we're already running out of turns, of course I'm going to take a cacao as well. You find a smaller tree and climb up on another member's shoulders to grab the fruit. After a short while, you return satisfied to the ship with a full basket of cacao. Great! Cacao. Now, I'm already running out of turns. But I should be able to reach that town as well, right? Welcome back, everyone! I heard yet you have discovered the marine city of Sheba. Only our histories tell of the trade we once enjoyed with that city now. Maybe you know already, but Sheba is ruled by a beautiful woman called the Queen of Ribbles. The city has flourished under her rule, but ever since the calamity, the strong currents have changed that. If a reliable route to Sheba could be found, we could pick up right where we left off. I understand the danger of the task before you, but nevertheless, I'm counting on you. And of course, Stonefish, 100 N, Cacao, another 100 N. Great! It already covered the cost of the sale. Now I should technically be able to reach that place without issues, right? Yeah, I pretty much have to do the same thing as before. Just going... Straight for the current. Downwards. And then just heading straight for the town itself. Okay. My good that everything is so close to our geometric pole, right? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> everything is so close by. It's nice. It's nice. It's really nice for a change. 
carefully reading the, uh, reading the flow of the currents, you reach the haven of Sheba, city of the sea. Actually, I didn't really bother with the currents at all. It was right beside of the seaweed after all. But good to, good, to, good to see that we can just ignore it all, huh? <laughs> you disembark and stand in awe of the vast city as a soldier comes running towards you. Different colors, well. I bear a message from the Queen of Rivers. The soldier clears his throat and unravels a scroll of parchment. We welcome you for your long journey from Armor Road. I, the ruler of Sheba, Queen of Rivers. After the calamity, a monster took control of the currents and has left us stranded here. We have longed to re-establish ties with Armor Road, but the currents have prevented this. We would like you to go and tell Armor Road of our plight. Would you be a bridge between our countries? To show our appreciation, this messenger bears also a gift. It is Frankenin's incense, is a specialty of ours that is an ingredient used in perfume. Ah, the message ends here. I too beg you to reopen cultural exchange between here and Armor Road. Having delivered the message, the soldier hands you back. It is filled with milk-white resin. You swear to deliver the message and turn to Armor Road and leave the soldier to wave you goodbye. Okay. Uh, I guess it's good to have more perfume options around here. <laughs> okay. Uh, well done, everyone. You have successfully established a route to the city of Sheba. What? The Queen of Rivel wants to resume relation with Armor Road? Oh, that's great news! I contact the Senatus to make an arrangement for the messenger immediately. In any case, I never thought there would be a, a gap in the, in the current around Sheba. There's a gap? <laughs> Thanks to your hard work in making that long voyage. Here's a token of my appreciation. It's salt curd meat. It tastes good and it's good for you. Take it along the next time you go. Salted meat. Huh, a lot of N again. Great. Is that a better food item than the one? Oh, yes, it is. Four extra turns. Oh, that's just great. That's just great. That's going to allow us to explore even more, right? Now, the question is should I go further towards the right? It doesn't really seem like there's a good opening towards the north of this place. Yeah, let's go further towards the right of it. Okay, I can kind of see what they mean with, oh, there's an opening towards Sheba. There's literally only one opening towards Sheba from the looks of it, and if you misstep even once, you're heading straight out of the loop. And I'm not even sure if I'm even able to reach that place with my double movement speed, so uh, yeah, the only way to actually reach that town would probably be with either the seaweed cutter, Maybe something for the for the rift itself. Maybe. Just maybe. But until we get that, it's probably going to take a while as well. I mean, look at this. There's so much of the stuff around. Yeah, I can't really proceed further north from that area at all. So that leaves us with the left corner of this area, right? Yeah, that's literally the only... It's literally the only corner that is left right now, and it doesn't really look that promising either, seeing how there's literally a whirlpool right in front of us. Okay, why can I not click on that? Weird. Suddenly it works, and then the other time it didn't. Nevertheless, I can see that there's more current right behind it, leading further to the south. Couple of dark rifts are behind it as well, and a row of trees. Great. Just, just great. Okay. Is there any way for me to sneak behind it? Doesn't appear to be the case. Yeah, there's literally no way for me to get around it at all. Unless, of course, maybe if I had something for the deep sea, but 
I don't have that at that point of time. And I can't shoot down the the pirates either. There's nothing in there either. Mm. I won't get around it. I have to I have to get around this pirate ship in order to reach the top left corner. But then again, wait a second, there might be something at the top or at the... Yeah, if I go further to the south from there... Can I check the other map? There might be something over there at least. Maybe. Anything of interest around. I would literally take anything. This seems like a bunch of trees. Many, many trees from the looks of it. But is there anything around? Anything. I literally take anything. Nothing over here. Wait a second. Maybe here. No. No. Is there really nothing? Nothing at all. Is there really nothing at all? Hmm. That's a bit unfortunate. Maybe here? If I were to go through here? I mean, I could check one of the other islands. Which is literally nothing in it. How about the other side? Maybe the other side? Okay. Well, that just means that this is pretty much it, right? There's nothing at the top right corner. Technically speaking, we have a couple of extra turns now. Maybe I can go a little bit deeper over here. Maybe. I mean, I have four extra turns. I can go down. Yeah, I can, I can certainly reach a little bit deeper over there. But would that make a big difference? Probably not. That probably wouldn't make such a big difference. Or... Hmm. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But at the very least, I was able to find a couple of new uh, ocean quests, right? So before we end the part here, I can at the very least check out uh, the new locations. We're well, all past Tortuga Island, which is not really the most uh, encouraging of them. Are they all going to be higher level than it? I'm not even going to read it. I'm not even going to read it. I just I just want to see the level really quickly. 38! No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe the other ones. Maybe the other ones are better. They are... They are deeper than Marine City Sheba. Giant runes. How does it look? Giant runes. Which level? 42! Mm hmm Dark Forest? Is that one better? Please tell me that one is better. 45. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> I can't forget that. I can't do any of them. I cannot do any of them. Well, maybe I can try at least one of them. Which level was the first one again? 49. Or had a f uh, not 49. 39, right? That was 39. Maybe. Let me check that level again. One more time. 38. Eight level higher. Probably not the best idea. I should probably not do this. I'm certainly going to lose. I mean, I can at least take a peek, right? What the- oh no. Koro Tank. That looks like. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. That's not. That's just absolutely not good. Uh, let me. Let me think. He loves ice attacks, if I remember right. And sleep, which means. I think he had an electric weakness. And he should be fine with fire. That means I can. I can use breaking fist against him, right? 
I should technically be able to use Breaking Fist against him. I'm going to use Volt Barrage for the for the little guys. And just in case, just in case he's actually going for the for the sleep stuff, uh, sleep stuff, I'm going to use uh, Prevent Order. Okay, he already has a party attack. That's not good. Line guard for the back. I guess you already have to go for the party heal. Oh! Okay, we do decent damage. That's already good. It's already really good. And I guard for the back line as well. Can I heal first? Yes, I can heal first. He's doing electric damage. And they have confusion. Okay, that's not good. I got again. They got my Aethy. Prevent order for the front. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, you you still killed me. Isn't that just great? Lion guards. Uh, party heal. How about the nectar for my character? What the hell did you just... You can summon more of them? Nautilus. Bolt Striker. Okay, well... Uh, this is bad. I think I'm dead. He has charge as well. He literally has charge as well. How are you still alive? Okay, yeah, yeah, this is... <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe if I use charge and just kill both of them at the same time. But I have a feeling that maybe if, if I kill the, the, the minions of him, that uh, they have an ability that triggers mass panic on pretty much all of my characters. Huh. Yeah, but certainly, this is certainly not going to be a, a lot of fun if I have to fight it. Actually speaking, you know what? I still have a little bit more time. How about we take out the other ones as well? I mean, if I already had it. This already... It's kind of impossible. <laughs> Let's see. The other boss, 43. No. 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 <laughs> Why? Why? Primal Trump? Frankie, please! Get the confusion, Frankie! Get the confusion! Oh, I'm so dead. I'm already dead. Let's just defend again. Oh! Where would you look at that? That's another medic with breaking fist. Oh, that's good. That's very reassuring. I don't think you're able to win this on your own, though. Or are you? Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> well, all things uh, are free, right? All good things are free. Maybe the last one uh, is not as threatening as this one, huh? Maybe. See? Mr. Joe. That doesn't really look so bad. It seems like it's just... Plant, breaking fist, fire, beast roar. Let's see, how much damage do you do? 40. It seems like that's another one of our protectors. That's good. And got again, breaking fist. And they don't appear to have that much defense either, so that's also good. So oh, never mind, I can... Of course you can recover. Of course you go for my character. Of all people, there's a there's a protector over there that is actually used provoke, but I guess that doesn't really count. <laughs> I guess it doesn't count at all. <laughs> Holy hell. 150? Um Hmm. Nectar? Sure. She's so dead. She is so freaking dead. Uh, yeah, I can't go guard order. 
Bodyguard Evie. Heal yourself! Hellfire! <laughs> Hellfire! Frankie! I need Frankie, please! Frankie! Save it! Save it! Didn't work! Didn't even do damage! It didn't even do damage! <laughs> oh, come on! Beast Raw! One more time! Come on, Frankie! It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I'm so dead. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Screw it! Auto! Auto down! They, they, they hear so much! They hear so much! I can't do any of that! I can't- I literally can't do any of that! None of them! None! Maybe- maybe the, 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 the Stingray guy. There's a possibility that I might be able to, to beat the Stingray guy, but there's 8-9 level difference between us. Which is a bit much. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm going- I guess we're going to make a cut right here. Yeah, we're not thinking about any more sea quests for a while. After all, we still have a whole labyrinth to explore, right? We, we have to protect the, the, the guardian, right? Totally! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys had fun with today's part, and uh, I see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!